Hulk AR 20, the Leeds Rhinos 12. And that is a scoreline that flatters the team from Headley. Oh, yes. A brilliant performance from the Robins last night, playing the conditions superbly well. And that was the key to this game. Atrocious, weren't they? Oh, dear. It was like a monsoon in Hull last night. But, yeah, superb from the, the Robins. Outstanding performance. And we'll get to them in a minute. But first of all, Leeds Rhinos. Well, 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 well. Not good enough, I'm afraid. Simply not good enough. I have absolute sympathy last night for Luke Hooley. Uh, what a shame for him on his debut, of course, uh, he had an absolute nightmare, didn't he? But you've got to credit Hulk KR. They saw a weakness there. The late pullouts of both Richie Myler and Nene McDonald, obviously helping uh, the uh, the Robins and, of course, hindering the Rhinos. And you know, I really do uh, hope that Hooley gets himself uh, a starting spot again soon, just so he can build that confidence back. There's no question this kid has got a big future in the game and has got lots of talent. Uh, but that last night, of course, horrible conditions to make you debut uh, for the Leeds Rhinos. Congratulations uh, to Lewis Roberts on his first Super League trial. That's about as good as it gets, really, uh, for Leeds Rhinos last night because they were outplayed. They were out muscled. Their attitude just didn't seem wrong. Their first half, they were just passengers. Couldn't get out of their own half. Why? Probably because Hull were, were sensational at game management and game control in those conditions. But actually, you've got to say, no play the balls in the opposition 20. That's poor. And why is that poor? It's because when you want marquee, and I say that very loosely, marquee players to stand up, Caesar and Austin, where were they? Austin last week, outstanding, unplayable, man of the match, in the team of the week, couldn't argue it. This week, just didn't fancy it, did he? Didn't fancy it, simple as that. Maybe the conditions weren't right for our Blake. Two marquee start signings going up against Abdul and Lewis, who, don't get me wrong, absolute quality, but nobody uses the marquee element to them, them two players, but they absolutely showed the Leeds Rhinos halfback team up. Outstanding performance from both Mikey Lewis and Jordan Abdul. Let's talk about Jordan Abdul, shall we? What a fantastic performance. We've been very critical over the man of steel points that have been given to him this season up to now, but there's no questioning. Last night, he showed his true class. He led his team around the park brilliantly. He managed that game. He was like a, he was like a conductor with a baton, absolutely conducting that orchestra to absolute perfection. I could hear the concerto all the way from Northwich in Cheshire. It was outstanding stuff from Jordan Abdul. Two assists on the night. You know, his kicking game, 13 attacking kicks, 20 kicks in general play. They just couldn't live with him, could they? The only thing that was missing from that performance was no knock-on at the end and a little try. Good effort, Mr Abdul. Outstanding. But of course, it was errors. It was errors that he forced, okay? Now, you might be surprised to hear this, but both teams had 17 errors on the night, but it's where those errors came, because when you compare and contrast Hooley and Olferts with Coote and Hall, these are the statistics, okay? Seven errors uh, made by the pair on the lead side compared to zero for Hull KR. And that was absolutely the key element. I have to say as well, really impressed with the pack. The pack at Hull KR this year, outstanding. I think their acquisitions of Kennedy and Sue have been brilliant. And yet again last night, another player who doesn't get the respect and accolade that he deserves George King, superb running, outstanding play. That kickoff at the start of the second half, dearie, dearie me. You know, I'm not being funny, but it was like they were listening to Jack and Ori, wasn't it? I mean, what, what were you doing? Get the ball, man. Again, it was Luke Hooley, uh, you know, in, in just completely in, in two minds, in no man's land, just allowing Sue to bounce onto that ball. And, of course, we know what happened next. Kane Lynette going in for his try. It's just the calamity, really, from, from, from a Leeds point of view. Absolute calamity. I have to say, not good enough. Didn't look the part, not playing well. Big questions over the halfback combination and some really big injuries now. Foster Tour out, Ash Handley out. Um, you know, the fact that Newman and Austin are giving each other a bit of beef behind the sticks, that's not good to see. I mean, don't you know, we like a bit of passion, but you know, is there something else under there? I mean, we know that, that we know that Newman's quite hot headed. Maybe he's seen what we're seeing about Austin. Maybe he's picking and choosing his games. That's for Leeds to go and uh, have a look at and to have conversations about. But last night was all about. Hull KR and next, oh, next they go to Hull FC. The big derby over 20,000 will be in the MKM to watch this spectacle. It will be outstanding, always full of grit, full of passion, full of energy. Oh, and some sensational rugby league. That's what we're looking forward to. Hull KR will go into that game incredibly confident. Willie Peters first taste of what it's like to be at a Hull Derby and he looked like he couldn't wait and with Abdul Lewis and co absolutely in the groove it's going to be one hell of a spectacle next weekend as for Leeds well they will of course be playing against Huddersfield and on this performance even though Huddersfield aren't playing too well at the moment there's nothing really to fear if you're a Huddersfield Giants fan this has been In The Sheds we'll see you next time